Sir, what are your views on having a strong military for our making of a strong nation, sir? See, uh, we have a one million strong military. I want you to understand, except maybe one nation, nobody ever even thinks it's worth bombing this country. <laughs> yes, I want you to get this straight. <laughs> so right now, our quarrels with what was a part of this nation, now a neighborhood. What was one nation, now a part of our neighborhood, all right, we can't change that now. For this, how much are we investing? For one tiny quarrel, what is our investment? <laughs> it's too much. Right now we are planning to buy the, uh, the French Dassault fighters. It's… Uh, each one of them costs six hundred crores. Boom, one crash in a second it's gone, okay? I'm saying, we must have a military. We are still not in such a level of consciousness in the world, people can simply live without protection. We must have a strong military, we have. It needs to be upgraded in many ways, that will be done. I was discussing in one of these conferences and they were talking about this dissolved thing. I said, why? Why don't you buy the Chinese uh, airplanes? You can buy ten, ten for one. They said, no, no, Sadhguru, Chinese airplanes are not like this, their salt is fantastic. Yes, I have also looked at it. I am also an aviator, I am a licensed pilot. I know what's an airplane, I know you can't compare a desalt to a Chinese airplane, but the Chinese airplanes fly and they bomb. <laughs> and that's all that matters. At one tenth of the price, you are not going to pick a, a fight with United States of America and fight a war with them. If at all, if you have a quarrel, is it with your neighbor? Now this six hundred thousand, I mean uh, six hundred crores, I would suggest, I would like to suggest to the new government, instead of buying hundred airplanes, set up one hundred power stations, diesel or coal-fired stations in Pakistan. Give them free power or charge them, our companies will do it if you tell them. And let the, they invest here, if they invest their money here, they're not going to bomb you. If you invest your money there, you're not going to bomb them. Small bickering will happen. Small, we like little bit of a fight at the Wagga border, we can, uh, you know, <laughs> do those things to each other. We like to do that, <laughs> you've seen the Wagga thing. <laughs> See, look at that, what Mahatma Gandhi said of all the people. It's amazing that he said that. That's the man, that is why you need to respect him. He's not just moral code, that is the mind of the man, okay? So he is talking about a strong military. <laughs> strong military definitely needed, but the best way instead of being prepared to fight an enemy, to eliminate the enemy. When I say eliminate the enemy, you can eliminate the enemy only when you eliminate your enmity. If you buy the Chinese fighters, you have eliminated one major enemy or you, your imagined enemy, okay? If China is not there, Pakistan, invest the money in Pakistan, another enemy gone. Who else is wanting to bomb you right now, I'm asking? <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> so you can focus on what you want to do. I, I know I'm, I'm making it little simplistic but fundamentally that's all it is. It, right now what I'm saying is little simplistic, there are complications to it but those things can be sorted out. It is not like it will happen in one day, in next ten, fifteen years you can run it down, your enmity.